Welcome back to Paris, Tennessee's Kentucky Lake and the final session for the 2017 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Even under tough conditions, this is always one of the favorite stops on the ACA tournament series. This is actually the first Big Bass tournament I've fished with a ACA uh, as the one last year here on Kentucky Lake and it was a lot of fun. Me and my partner Garrett, we got ninth in it. And, it's a fun format, uh, it's fun to get kids involved with it, college students, get them in, introduced with it and figure out how to target big fish and not just go in and catch just a good sack of fish. And it it kind of levels the, even, uh, the playing field for everybody, for guys like me that's not from here or who hadn't fished here that much, so it's, it's fun. Man, it's been a blast. Uh, it's absolutely, I, I can't really put words to it of how much it's helped me out as an angler, uh, as a person, you know, getting to meet all these people out here and everything and the connections within the industry, it's, it's phenomenal. And I recommend anybody that loves fishing in college to try it out. Um, I think that it's, it, it gives guys a lot of tools to maybe have a chance at the next level. I'm personally trying to fish professionally, and, and I'm putting everything I have into it, and I think the college has given me the tools to do that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here on the premises, it's brave this weather all day, and the ones at home that's watching on live stream, this is the final number eight session of the day. It is presented by Ingle Coolers in Costa. We are gonna start this off with a KJ, Queen from Bethel University. The team from Bethel University made quite the showing this year with 18 fish in the money, awesome, including guys. two session wins. Here, KJ Queen locked up fourth with one going 6-11. Bethel's Tyler Black was up next, and he slid into third with 6-49. Murray State's Ryan Lancaster will share third with his catch weighing 6-49. Kyle Sweet fishes for Illinois State. He only weighed one fish today, but it was a good one and sealed up second with 658. Way to go, 658. And on top of the leaderboard at the end of session eight, presented by Engel Coolers and Costa Sunglasses, it was Nathan Bell from Bryan College. Definitely going to take the lead for this session. 681, new leader for this session. Take it out. Your coach got out of the trunk. We want to get a picture of that. It finally quit snowing. Look at the Garmin tent for Kevin. Great job, 681. Here's a look at the top 10 from the final session of the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. It's been a good week for these young anglers. They picked up some valuable experience under some very challenging conditions. I can go ahead and tell you right now, what I like the most about it is we get to fish big time mm -hmm. tournaments, you know, stressful tournaments with low cost. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, we that's have, number one. We have so much experience available to us at low cost. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of business parts of it too, negotiating with different sponsors and trying to help everyone out while helping the team out as a whole. The best part about college fishing is not fishing a tournament with, you know, your partner. It's you know, in the, ho the nights in the hotel, you get all your buddies in the hotel room, step to 12 o'clock at night, just laughing, having fun. I mean, it's just, it's all around a great experience. With another day in the books, we'll head back to Paris Landing and turn it over to tournament director, Anthony Wright. All right, we're gonna start it off. Bethel University, y'all put your hands together for Evan Irie. Had a 849, he won it all. In addition to the $1,000 Cabela's gift card he's already claimed, Evan picks up another $1,000 Cabela's card, a $2,000 voucher from PowerPole, an angle cooler, a pair of Costa sunglasses, and a Gil Rain suit, bringing his total for the day to nearly $5,000 in prizes. Congratulations, Evan. We caught about 30 fish. All of them were like three pounds, but uh, we came in, weighed some in. We made some money in the second session, but we came back and uh, came up, put in, Danville ran south, and uh, we pulled up to a real shallow spot we had found, and uh, we just started fishing it, and we just started catching them. And uh, they were bigger this time. We started catching four pounders and four and a halves, and it was getting hectic throwing them in out of the live well. And all of a sudden, I just bowed up on one, and uh, I didn't really think it was all that big at first, but then it came up right at the boat, and I knew it was a big one. I just seen a big old head, and uh, it dove down, stripping drag and everything. Got it up, got it in the net, and the hook popped right off. But uh, it was a fun day. We caught some more big fish after that. Partner caught six pounder, another partner caught five and three quarters. So it was a good day. 
Our final order of business on the day is a look at the Cabela's School of the Year standings presented by Abu Garcia. Ryan College started the event in fifth, and with the double points earned, they've made a big leap and are now sitting at the top of the standings. But the University of North Alabama and Mississippi State are close behind. You can keep up with the points race at collegiatebasschampionship.com. A big thanks to our hosts and friends in Paris, Tennessee. And hey, if you're headed to the region, check out fishkentuckylake.com.